Well, it's time to panic because on my desk right now is a glossy 240Hz OLED gaming monitor using LG's latest MLA technology, which is far brighter than their traditional OLEDs. And let me tell you, putting this display side by side with a matte version that you're used to seeing, yuck, the improvements to color and clarity to me are immediately obvious. In fact, the videos that you see on screen right now really don't do it justice. The matte OLEDs just have this weird, fuzzy or grainy look to them that drastically harms the final image, and when the display gets brighter, it looks like somebody stuck their fingers in Vaseline and smeared it all over the screen, which much like being on the toilet, it won't come off no matter how hard you wipe, but this glossy version has me pitching a circus-sized tent. So what is this monitor? Well, actually, it's the KTC G27P6, a monitor I recently reviewed and found to be the best value OLED gaming display on the market, despite its firmware bugs. But if you take a gander at their website, you'll know notice it's actually a matte display, but guys, if you've seen my updated video on the M32 P10 4K mini LED monitor, you'll know I've developed a method to buff out these finishes with relative ease, and I've only been getting better, harder, and faster by the day. The monitor in front of you now is the second victim of my buffing escapades, and while it's not quite as clear as the other monitors I've done since, leading to unfortunately no improvements to the brightness, it's still a massive improvement to the overall image quality, at least in my opinion. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, I've been using this plastic scratch remover called Novus to buff out these monitors, and my current method involves using the heavy and light scratch removers followed by some 3M ultra fine machine polish using a polisher, which leads to a finish which is not only glossy, but has only tiny scratches in the display, which I can only find when shining a strong light on the screen. A massive improvement over the blurry, scratchy mess of a matte finish, which not only diffuses reflections, but to an extent the image coming out as well. Now, if you want to learn more about this sort of thing, I do highly suggest joining my Discord by clicking the Patreon link in the description below and become a member to get access to all my display profiles and help when I can give it, but also I do tend to offload my review displays there as well, which will include a number of glossy options I've created going forward. But for now, let me know in the comments whether you would be interested in buying a glossy monitor because I know I would considering the massive improvements to clarity, color, vibrancy, and in some cases brightness and contrast as well. As you can see the M32 P10 here, I did do an ultra fine machine polish on this one as well to improve it even further. And now I'm actually measuring it to be around 17% brighter in the full screen and 10% windows, which is an absolutely massive increase in brightness, and in fact, even the contrast is now measuring as 4% better than it was with the matte finish, and that's not even to mention the insane improvements to the clarity and color, at least in my opinion, to these displays. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.